still a lot of time Sitting down here by this lake A lot of things went through my mind Should I go or should I... What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's test drive is a 1953 Chevy 210. This one here has got the believed to be 454 under the hood. Looks like power steering, aluminum radiator. And of course, we're gonna be going over any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're getting before you get here. Does have disc brakes on the front. Also looks like disc brakes on the rear. And LED tail lights on this one. Check out maplemotors.com so uh, you can see all the detailed pictures, financing, and shipping information that we provide. And we're also here in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Just letting you know, guys. All right, get the hood down. So the hood does not lock. You have to put locks in it, which we're going to be doing. For now, hit subscribe, share. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Of course before we leave we always check out the interiors and this one looks great looks like it's got the ostrich interior you got a cup holder wood grain steering wheel aftermarket gauges i'm loving the dash like the interior all the way around just looks fancy pretty nice headliner package tray lights working good deal let's start her up she starts up easy. Got a trans brake button right here. Got a TV popping out of the dash. Tilt column. Cam up motor. I don't know what this is, but. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. Let's try, uh, it's got vintage air on it. Is it cold? It is for now. Blowing nice and hard too. Got a fuel pump, got the switch on for it. Got a, looks like hands free. Coming down with a window, it's working. Power windows. Both sides working, coming up and down. Looking across the dash, can't stand with the mileage because it's been changed out. Be working. All right. We got green carpet in here. Did you place your bets on the horn? Because we're getting ready to try it out. Let's see what this switch does. Does nothing. Wipers, I think they're non existent. Horn doesn't work. Let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. Buckle is sensitive in this one, but I got it on. I don't think we're gonna have to stop get gas. Engine temperature's already coming up. Full pressure's at 60, and we're charging according to the volts gauge. We got a tack here and a tack here, and they look identical. I don't know why you need two. I just take that one out of the dash. You got this one right here. As far as uh, driving, let's go. Reverse, working, neutral drive. Let's roll out of here. I like the tilt column. The power steering's kind of jumpy, you see that? It's like good and then it just takes off. We're gonna take a risk here. We don't know if we can go or not. Can you see the traffic? I think we're good. Yeah. All right, let's roll out. Anything I see, I will let you know. Speedometer is not working. Car's got some good low power. A nice squeaky belt. Put you flying by, people. <laughs> Getting into the brakes now. The brakes feel good.
Let's roll down the window. Dryer vent window, baby. Is it open? With a little help, it does. I got rid of the smell completely. Got a remote with the radio. It's got a light on the cup holder. This might put a lot of detail into this interior. Her shifter. It's actually going pretty straight down the road. It's not fighting me, pulling me left and right. Really tight steering. I mean, I'm just barely, barely turning it, taking off. Turn signals popping up, both sides of the dash right there. Golly, look how people drive right here. It's like every time I come up to this intersection, that's. You've seen them videos where it's like overseas and there's people just like driving all crazy like a big spider web. That's what it's like right there. I don't know. This may be a good parking lot to do a big smoky burnout. This car is uh, set up for it. I'm going to get you some undercarriage shots. Let's have a little fun. That was one pretty good uh, big smoky burnout, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Guys, I haven't told you, this is my sister, so if you haven't seen her before, her name's Alyssa. She controls the Instagram now, I gave that to her. And of course, don't forget about, you know, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, all them good things. Cause you'll see these cars all over those platforms. This one so far is doing great. I mean, we got 40 pounds of oil pressure. We're sitting at 170 on the temp. That's nice and cool. We've just been playing around with it. This is actually a pretty fun ride. A lot of power, a lot of potential here. I feel like if I got into it, actually pretty smooth going down the road not to mention how straight it's driving how much power it's got how the brakes feel so good this is your tram brake button 
This switch over here is for your headlights. You can see it dimming on the dash there. Justin, y'all out, checking you out, making sure you're straight there. Of course, when you get into it, you just feel the whole back end of the car lift up. It's crazy. <laughs> She's posy. Yeah, I stuck her down into first there. So it wouldn't shift. Where's ice skating? <laughs> ice skating. Oh, there's a cop right there. Oh, I told you you're in trouble now. <laughs> I heard you revving back there. Oh, they're coming from everywhere. Something happened. Yeah. All different directions. They ain't worried about us. You better stop, sir. Oh, there's three. There's more coming down the hill. Something happened down there. Wow. And they're all undercover, too. We got to do the Terminator video, so we got to get back. I hope they didn't mess the road up. Whoever wrecked or whatever happened. I think we're going to be okay because we're just right there at the second red light, so it looks pretty good. Everybody's just kind of waiting around here. Go ahead, go ahead. They're going way on down. We're good to go. Sweet. Yeah, I hope nobody's hurt. All right, we're going to park it in the middle, and then we got to tell Jason not to mess with this because once we get back after the Terminator video, we're going to do the walk around on both of these rides. That way I get everything done. And we don't leave anybody hanging. It's a good plan, right? Yep. All right, let's knock it out. Okay, let's walk around this ride. Getting up close and personal. Cracks in the front end here, paint flaws on the bottom where the paint runs are coming down the front of the bumper. The grill on this one's got some hazy spots. Chips right here, a little overspray. Chip in the corner here. Crack, and I don't know, not a crack there. Up and over the fender, a little chip there. got some chips in the corner here you got some lines running up on the edges chips right here spot right there in the door went back this mid section The door you have to slam the fire out of otherwise it won't shut all the way you got a spot here you got a spot on top of the fender there chrome looks good around the headlight mirrors in decent shape there Chrome looks good around the door handle. Chips right here. Bubbles right there in that body line. Crack right here. Back window on this one's got a nice scratch up top. Or that's not a scratch, that's tent on the inside. Sorry guys. There's tent coming loose on the inside of it. Around the top portion here. Doesn't look too bad. Got some bubbles popping up here. Chips. 
Front windshield on this one looks pretty good. Chrome does not look bad. They've drilled a hole here, which caused a crack. Scuffs on the hood. We'll be getting to that here in just a moment. Let's walk to the trunk. Coming up on the trunk of this one, looks pretty wild. It's out there. Seal's not too bad. Stops there though. You don't have any seal coming around on the bottom portion. Crack right here. Scuff, the jam. Barely see below the carpet, it's super tight. But it looks solid. I can't rip it all up because it's all glued down. Yeah. Extra wire here. Kill switch there. Speakers in the trunk. Okay. Trunk lid itself. Around the edges. Looks decent. Chip on the edge here. down with it <coughs> got some flame shooting up here chrome looks good on that trim coming down this side lower portion little blotches here that'll come off just some dirt chip right there on the bottom couple chips down here as well light scratches the corner there as well you see them tape lines on the edges they were put there on purpose that spot there it says yes on the side not sure why up and over yeah paint run some cracks that's what I showed right off the bat back that midsection Headlight looks good. You got a chip here. A scratch in the middle of the door up there as well. good back here windows not bad but it does have tint coming off right there chrome door handle looks good pitting on your chrome mirror crack here scratches there windshield on the front looks pretty good trim looks good around it and over the roof chips right there some chips in the front here all right let's go ahead and ch check out the interior on this one we'll get the motor started <coughs> door panel on this one has been redone with the ostrich the seal around it looks pretty good the bottom door jam not bad you need some trim here to eat up you got chips on the inside here the seat it's in good shape it's like there's emergency brake there I didn't realize back seat looks pretty good I love the interior on this Looks great. The glove box would not stay shut. It came open on us during the test drive. Fuel pump switch you have to cut on. Turn the key. Oh, is it the right key? It's not the right key. Let's see if this one is. One-handed bandage back at it. Starts up good. That hits that shifter.
see the door got to put some force into it it'll shut Get some kind of spatter under here. But down with the hood, you got a crack here. Chip here. Then you gotta maneuver this around to shut it. Which is fine. Ships up around that front end. This definitely stands up a little tall. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, hit like, and I'll keep making them for you. We do test drives every day up here at Maple Motors, and I got another one to do right after this. Be sure to check out maplemotors.com for financing, shipping, detail pictures, and of course, every Monday, we list 10 new cars. All right, see you later.